So this was a very difficult video for me to make, but I felt like I had to do it. You know, I was watching Real Housewives of Orange County last night, and of course, uh, Shannon Bedore realizes that uh, John Jansen is going to be the storyline that the producers have chosen to exploit along with Jennifer Pedrani's guy, Ryan, which I've covered a lot on my channel so far. And Shannon, on several occasions in the last like two weeks, has begged the producers to not do the storyline because she fears that John Jansen will leave her. And her fears are realized. He does actually break up with her a week after they stop shooting the show, the season. You know, at the time, this was what she was telling people, you know, we were bickering and bickering and bickering and it was no way for us to live and we couldn't get past it, okay? And then she announced in January that Jansen broke up with her in November, 2022, just one week after production completed. Jansen actually agreed to keep it quiet for Shannon for three months, their breakup, so that she could announce it in the way that she wanted to announce it, which was very nice of him. Because let's face it, he knew he was going to be villainized on the show and look like an a-hole, and it's not his nature to, you know, be particularly nice from what I hear. You know, he's kind of a, a toughie. So I know what you guys are going to say. You're going to be like, she's better off without John. He called her fat at one point. She must have said to the women, they said that on the show, that he lives with his son and she doesn't go over that much and he doesn't stay at her house that much, which maybe she wishes he stayed more. Maybe he wasn't that interested in her sexually. Um, he left her at a restaurant, pissed one night, whatever. You get the idea. But no one actually communicated about Shannon's part of that, right? Shannon may have gotten drunk or something and he didn't want to deal with it. Or she might have said something bad about him, you know, that we don't know about. Like, we really just heard one side of the conversation. So this obviously triggered me from Real Housewives of Beverly Hills season two with Taylor and Russell Armstrong because I was in the thick of that, right? And um, I chose not to out my friend's situation because she requested me not to. Now, what I noticed in this episode was that Shannon was begging the producers in tears to not make this a storyline for the show, that it would be the end of their relationship. She knew that it would trigger John and he would be like, this is the final straw, I'm out. I didn't sign up for this. I'm not being paid by these people, and I like you, but I don't want this with it. And I honestly felt so bad for Shannon, because I know damn well that Emily and Gina and Heather and Tamara did not give two shits about Shannon and protecting Shannon against John. They were looking to help the producers make this a storyline and the collateral damage of Shannon and John didn't really matter to them because they justified it from previous things that maybe were said about them. Do you know how hard it is to be 50 plus years old in Orange County and find a guy that has wealth, that's good looking, that you can have fun with 80 or 90% of the time, and then you have maybe 10% of shit times. Do you know how hard that is? Shannon is devastated with good reason because the Real Housewives of Orange County blew up her relationship and he did bring her enough happiness for her. That's why she was obsessed with him for three and a half years. And let's face it, I, I don't know, I haven't met a perfect guy out there. Nope, haven't met one. I can tell you something though, let me tell you something. I sure hope it's not Emily Simpson on her high horse with her 
awesome relationship with her husband where she didn't even find him attractive when she first met him. Then she learned to love him. And then just a few years ago, she felt resentful towards him during tense talks because she was always the butt of his jokes. Also, who the hell is Gina Kirschenheiner? to be judging Shannon Bedore's relationship when she describes her current boyfriend, Travis Mullen, as being consistently happy with him. She makes him sound like a diet program or a gym workout, like consistently happy. I mean, I, if I was him, I'd just break up with her based on that description. I won't even address Taylor Armstrong in this video because she was smart enough to stay quiet in that scene. And I certainly wouldn't be trusting Heather and Terry Dubrow to give me relationship advice. I mean, could this photo be any more staged in Disney to try to counter the rumors that were happening at, it, at the time? And what happened to that storyline that was supposed to be happening on this season? Wonder if Heather Dubrow's attorneys maybe snipped that storyline right out of this season. Could be. It's odd that it didn't make it in the show except a little tiny bit with Shannon Bedore throwing it out there. Mm-hmm. And you remember what happened last year when someone questioned Terry's reputation. She pushed a cameraman, uh, allegedly, and sent legal letters. Somebody's really concerned about their reputation. A little bit too concerned, maybe. Did I ever tell you guys that when I was dating the guy that had a double life and tried to nuke my world and was abusive to me verbally, et cetera, et cetera, did I ever tell you that I used to buy really extravagant over the top things so I wouldn't think about it or really address it? Yeah, I, I did do that a lot. I ho sure hope nobody else does that on the show to compensate for something maybe they're not getting. So why am I doing this video for Shannon Bedore? And it is for Shannon, because she deserves a little retribution. Because from being on the show, I can tell you, she truly was begging everybody to not ruin this relationship for her, and they did. And the producers did too, and they didn't care. And I felt really sorry for her, I did because this isn't the way that it should have ended with John Jansen. They should have decided as two people that this wasn't working out, not have the show destroy it, which was so apparent that that was the reason. Just saying. And John obviously didn't break up with Shannon Bedore till after the show wrapped because he didn't want it to play out that he did indeed break up with her over what happened on The Real Housewives of Orange County for, I believe, her sake actually now, not his own. So he may be cranky and not that nice and he doesn't like fans and all this crap, but he did like Shannon until season 17. And I'll tell you what, if I was Shannon, I'd be getting into my Patreon right now and digging up the dirt on Emily Simpson, Heather Dubrow, and Gina, whatever the hell that girl's name is, and just taken them out next season. I didn't mention Tamara because Tamara enjoys people attacking her more camera time. <laughs> so let me just play you a little reminder. This is for Shannon from season two. No, season three. This is from season three, sorry. About, right, I think, you know, Adrian's great and as a person, as like in theory, but you have to really think about who your friends are. I was talking to my life coach the other day and she was just saying, after all that you've been through, you really need to find those people that are gonna care for you that don't have an ulterior motive. Yeah, but what I'm gonna say to you is, these women do have ulterior motives, everyone does. You better have your guard up, because these people, they may not have your back. They really love themselves, all of these women. I'm not sure they have enough room in all of their love for themselves to love you. Trust me.